Hey everybody, what's up YouTube? You good? Me? I am nerve skited. That's nervous and excited at the same time. So, as you can see from the title, I, this is going to be a talk with me video. It's going to be a talk with me video about going back to school as an adult. Rather, with, not rather, but with all of the hats that we wear as an adult. It's not like coming right out of high school and going to college and then she's just being a free free spirit in in as in that aspect I guess is what this video is going to be about just going back to school as an adult if you're willing to watch this video with me as I just sit up here and talk to you guys this is going to be a talk with me video so stay tuned I hope you stay tuned because it's going to be an interesting video hope I don't get too emotional let's go So I got my little handy dandy pink notebook, and I got my little computer in the background, hopefully it's not blinding you, but I am back in school. I feel like I'm about to cry already, y'all, y'all. If you don't know, I'm a big old baby, okay? But I am back in school. I This is not my first radio. I am online. I am at Ashford University, and I'm seeking my bachelor's, my bachelor's degree in early childhood education. I want to be a teacher. Right now I'm a student, I'm a, a teacher's aide in a kindergarten class and I love it. And I don't believe that I was placed here for no reason. So I'm using this as my training ground. But yeah, I got a few notes that I'm going to go through. And I think I'll just keep it in my lap so I can just keep talking to you guys. First thing I want to talk to you is just give you a little background about my situation. I graduated high school in 07. You know, you graduated in June, 07. And I didn't go something happened and I didn't go to school in September I was registered but I didn't start in September I can't really I can't remember exactly what happened but I didn't start in fall of 07 I started in spring of 08 I did a year in college at Delaware State University yes my HBCU I, I, I loved it but I think I used it as an escape plan now don't get me wrong I had a good upbringing I have a strong mother and I think I just wanted to get I was, a, I was a, a, a teenager smelling herself and I just wanted to get out of my mother's house. No issues in my house. I just, I just thought I was grown. That's, that's what it was. And I wasn't, okay? I wasn't mentally prepared for college. To go to college, you have to be mentally prepared and you have to be willing to do what it takes to finish. And I just, I wasn't there for it. I wasn't, I, I thought the idea was good. But I wasn't there for it. So I did my year. I met my husband. And I don't regret any of my decisions because I do believe everything happens for a reason. Like I said before, I met my so my husband me and my husband we were dating and we got together, then we got married and have a twins. And I was pregnant while I was in college. I got my last my French class. <laughs> I remember I announced it in French in my French my French class. Me and my husband went to homecoming. Or something we had to write a sentence or something. Uh, about homecoming in French. <laughs> it's gonna be reminiscent. But yeah, other than that, yeah, and then I just I stopped going. I just I lost interest. Maybe maybe it was because I was pregnant or I found my husband. My husband found me. <laughs> I just lost interest in, in college. I just was not mentally prepared. And now that I am at this place in my life, I am ready I was ready to make that decision to go. I think that was it. That was my, my, my background story in a nutshell. Hopefully I don't have to edit this video, y'all. If y'all only knew how many times I said that in the video and I had still had to edit, edit it. But this is just a real uncut version. Jasmine to my family, okay? It's just us sitting down having a conversation. And please feel free to leave any of your questions down below in the description uh, bar. I will be more than welcome to answering them. And see what the next note says. No, the next note just says that I wasn't ready. I wasn't mentally prepared. You have to be mentally prepared to start college, in my opinion. Like you have to be focused. You can't have any distractions. You have to be here. I'm here for this. I can I can party and whatnot because this partying is in college. It's that. But I can party and still do my studies and studying and be able to focus on what I'm here. What I'm here to do. And like I said, I, I, that wasn't. That wasn't me at the time. I have to be honest with myself. That wasn't me at the time. I was using going to college as an escape goal just to be a grown up. Cut it out. 17 years old grown? Eh. It wasn't. It wouldn't. No. 
I was smelling myself. You know, your parents tell you, you're starting to smell yourself. <laughs> That's my next note. You may not need the support team, but it will help. Going back to school. I wrote down, uh, I wrote down, you may not need a support team, because I don't want to say that you need a support system. Because you might be that person that don't need a support system, but for those of us who do, for those of us that are a wife, that full-time worker, a mother, a daddy, a parent, period, a sister, whatever you do, full-time ministry, whatever you do, a support system will not help, okay? I think it will be very difficult to be a spouse and then your, your significant other is not supporting you. I think that's, you know, it's not gonna work. So a support system surrounding your people with positive, uh, surrounding yourself with positive people, people that will motivate you, people that will push you and encourage you to do what it is that you see, what you see that you want to do in your life, as long as it's the right thing. Get wisdom on it. As long as you're not trying to be out there on a the corner. They ain't supporting you to be on a corner. <laughs> but they supporting you to do do something that a lot of people don't get a chance to do, or, or something that is good for you, that, that will push you, push you on to being what it is that you need to be. That support system, in my opinion, is major okay I'm very thankful to have a support system I am very thankful for my mother I am very 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 thankful for my husband because without him I would not be doing this right now I going to school I um, to add to that finances I am very blessed like I said for my husband and the fact that he is in the military, he was able to transfer over his GI Bill. And what a GI Bill is, basically paying for paying for my tuition. The military paying for my tuition. He has he's going to school on tuition on TA, which is tuition assistance. And they also get the GI Bill. Y'all, this is confusing to me too, so I'm not gonna even go into depth. However, my husband's using this TA and he transferred over to me his GI Bill, which is amazing and they will pay, they're paying for my tuition so I am very very thankful for, for that and I don't I don't have that burden on my shoulders for those of you who do not have that and are looking for a scholar there are scholarships out there you have to put in the work nothing is going to fall in your lap <laughs> you actually have to put in the work to go and look for that and don't get me wrong I will be looking for some scholarships I still want to look for opportunities out there to, to be able to do other things so look for those scholarships, look for those grants. Go ahead and fill out that fast, but there's no age limit, okay? That I'm, 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 I'm getting ahead of myself, all right? <laughs> there is no age limit. As a matter of fact, the longer you wait, the more expensive it will be, okay? I remember when I was at, at Dell State, and uh, one semester, the, the whatever it was, the year went by, and then the next year, it was like they added on money, okay? Listen, much. It should be a, the same fee from when I started to when I finish. <laughs> don't be adding on tabs, okay? I don't feel like I'm getting an extra. Don't be adding on nothing. But I do, I think everybody do that. Every year, that price go up. <laughs> so the longer you wait, the more it is going to be. Not to say it's, it's cheap, any cheaper now, because it's still a lot. But the longer you wait, the more it will cost. That's just the bottom line. So look for those scholarships. Look for those grants. Save up. Put money back. Because a hundred dollars here, a hundred dollars there, it, it helps out. It, it take off a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars of that loan that you want to pay back. Loans, I don't know. Child. Side note, <laughs> I was watching the real because that's my show. Yeah, no, I still got to, I got to come in here and just, I'm just talking to you. Okay, we just having a conversation. But I was watching the real, real quick. Okay, and somebody was up there talking about I paid Sally Mae back. The best song ever in life. Okay, I cannot wait. To be able to sing that song with the confidence, okay? <laughs> I'm going to sing it now because I'm going to claim it. But when I be able to sing that song from that muscle, that diaphragm, okay? <sighs> Lord knows that it's going to be a blessing. Because Sally Mae, whew. Like this video if you know what I'm talking about when it comes to Sally Mae, okay? Moving right along. What was I talking about? Okay. Support team. Don't think it would... So I might get emotional, okay? Your girl is a big baby. But I had come to a point where I did not think, oh, Jesus. I did not think that I was going to be able to go back to school. I just felt like it was so much going on. 
and I am I get very overwhelmed when it's too much clutteration. <laughs> Not just make up a word. I get very overwhelmed when it's a lot going a chaos. Chaos overwhelms me. And not to say my my life was chaotic, but just to think about life, parent, working, church, school, cleaning the house, cooking. <laughs> just to keep adding things on. Huh? Huh? What? And uh, what? And I want to add something else onto my plate. What? What? What is wrong with you, girl? Is you crazy? But it brought me back to, he won't put more on you than you can bear. And I had gotten wisdom from my man of God that you need to go back to school. And when your man of God tell you something, if he is a true man of God, you listen, okay? <laughs> and he asked me what I had interest in, and I told him, well, early childhood education, I think I want to be a teacher. And he just smiled. So I, that was my confirmation, like, all right, Jasmine, it's time to go. And the fact that it came so easy, I'm going into another one of my bullets without even looking at my uh, notes. Uh, it came so easy to apply to Ashford University and everything just flowed. I knew that it, I, I felt like it was meant to be. If there would have been distractions like, nope, 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 I would have had to throw my hands up like, I'm not giving up, but there's a reason why me and you ain't seeing eye to eye, okay? So maybe you're not the right place for me. When it comes to that, I'm going into another uh, bullet. When it comes to that research, where you want to go. If it, when it comes to online schooling, if you go into a traditional classroom where you go and sit in and that's the campus closest to you and that's where your parents went to, then they go ahead and go there. But when it comes to online schooling, schooling you have to find out what works for you. <clears throat> Astrid is a five-week course. Each each course is five weeks. Every Tuesday is another week and you do you do whatever you have to do in that week. And today I found out they took you in the breaks. <laughs> I thought I had a break coming up soon, okay? My friend said no. Maybe around Christmas time. They give you about two weeks, and you back in the cycle. Okay, every every five every faithfully every five weeks. Okay, which is cool. I mean, you just gotta you, going into another bullet. Look, let me. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, but <laughs> time management is a factor. It is going to be forever, forever a factor in life. However. Now, also, let me let you know, I'm not telling you guys any of this because I have accomplished it, okay? I am working it out in myself, and I thought that I would like to come and share it with you guys. But let me tell you about that thing called time management. Whew. Your girl, sorry, your girl is a procrastinator. Did I say that right? Procrastination, okay? I procrastinate all the time, okay? I'm not saying it's good, but I do it. Okay, I don't know where the accent just came from. However, I'm being real with you. Procrastination is of the devil. <laughs> you have to get some type of time management organization plan. Whew, I cannot stress that enough. Some type of... If you can see this, you can't really see it, but that thing right there, that's my calendar of this course. It has about... It went from the Tuesday that it started until the Tuesday, the last Tuesday of the course in March. Excuse me. Y'all, it's late, okay? I just wanted to come talk to you guys. Uh, Y'all you, you gotta get something. Because it's not, it's going to fall down. If you have so much stuff already on your plate and you're adding on schooling, okay? You have to get some, like, I feel like... If you're that person that can work out without a plan, please let me know. Let me know what you do. Let me know what your secret is, okay? Because that's, that's not me. But you have to get some type of plan in place, okay, in order to manage everything that you have going on. God, prayer, and a plan, okay? Prayer and a plan. That's PPs, okay? Prayer and a plan, okay? Like, you have to, whew. Get it in order somehow, okay? I can't even touch I can There's nothing else I can say. Prayer and a plan for time management. You got to ask the Lord to teach you how to... Because child, like I said, I have not arrived. Okay? I have not arrived. But you have to ask Him to teach you how to manage. Because it will crumble before you. And you will be very devastated. I know I will be devastated if this all came crashing down. 
just get a plan in place. That's, that's the best thing that you can do. Find out what works best for you. I have my calendar. I don't have a plan because I'm not finna open up a book every day. I need something that's visually open for the whole everything. A planner, a whiteboard, some, a, a, a cork board, something. Get you something. Okay? Hold on. Let me pick my book. But get you something. Something to help you out. Alright, what's my next note? Y'all, I'm gonna have to edit this video, ain't I? I'm trying, I'm trying to talk to y'all while I look through this book, okay? Trying to find my page again. I think my last bullet is why. Why did I choose to go back to college? Not only for myself, but for my children. To be able to show them an example, to be able to. My mom graduated from. My mom is a college graduate, okay? To be an example, to let them know, listen, you got two choices. Two. You gonna join the military? Or you going to school? Okay? <laughs> I am raising African American men. Okay? Those are your two choices. Military or school. There's no nine to. Mm, <laughs> no. No, uh. No shade. No judging to those of you out there. For me and my house, okay? <laughs> me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And we either gonna go to the military or to college, okay? Those are your two choices when you turn about 18, 19 years old, okay? Like I said, I got, I got three boys. There's no, there's no room for mess up. There just isn't. In the day and age that we're in, it's sad to say, but there is no room. Like this video if you know what I'm talking about. Okay? <sighs> what else? I think that's it. I think I touched bases on everything. That time management, y'all still messing with me. It's still in my head. <laughs> but remember, man, if you put your mind to it, you can you can achieve whatever it is that you want to, you want to do. Nobody's going to stop you but yourself. Only you can quit. And my man of God says... Quitting is easy. It's working for it. That's that's difficult. But if you want to take the easy way out, then quit. It's up to you. But I can't. I can't. I can't put that on me again. I need to be able to do what I need to do to set up my family and set up my children in the way that they should go. Okay. And I know now. I think I said it earlier. He won't put more on me. On, the, on he won't put more on me than I can bear. And with him, I know that I can do all things. Okay. That's with God, that is, okay? My Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, my Father. Okay? And my Father. I think that was it, y'all. I got a little emotional. I ain't cry. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this Talk With Me video. It was very impromptu. It wasn't impromptu because I knew I wanted to do it, but it just was sitting down and knowing what to talk to you guys about. And I just wrote down a few things. I didn't... I hope I didn't ramble too much, but... Hopefully you guys make the decision to go back to school or if you've been you've been contemplating it then go ahead and step step up to the plate. Do what you gotta do. It's not gonna be easy. Nobody told me that this road would be easy. But I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. <laughs> if it's not too much, please feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. Until next time, bye. My bad, y'all. I'm back, right? Real quick, okay? That that note still was leave me. Don't, you, okay? I'm gonna put this at the end. Motivation. You have to have some type of, I'm gonna do it quickly. You have to have some type of motivation. You have to write it down, put it where you can see it. That way, when you get discouraged, because those moments will come when you get discouraged and you feel defeated, you read that and you, and you see what you're doing this for. You'll be able to see, oh, this is what I'm here for. This is what I'm striving towards. I don't have the option to mess up. I don't have the the option to quit. Don't give yourself the option to quit. Don't give your op don't give yourself options to see a way out. When you get discouraged, you look at what is motivating you. Write it down. Somebody write it down everywhere. You ever seen that? Uh, what's that show on BT? Dear Jane, Mary Jane, Mary Jane, Dear Jane, Mary Jane. One of them shows on BT, but she had sticky notes everywhere. Put them. Put Sticky notes up now. Put them on, side, on the inside of the, of, the, of the mirror where you put your toothpaste. Put it on, write it on the toothpaste, y'all. Wherever you gotta write it, just so you can see it. This is my motivation. This is why I'm doing what I gotta do. All right, that's it now for for. I, I wanted to come back and share that with you guys, but that's it. Bye.